Hello my friends, welcome back to Hoogie Place American Truck Simulator and welcome to a little special video today because I, in this video I will probably not drive anything. I will in this video show you how I have planned to uh, develop my com company uh, because uh, for those of you who follows me you know that I have been here in uh, this uh, on this continent for a while now driven my company from scratch but it's time to uh, move move on and uh, develop it so that I can make more money and uh, make it bigger today I have this truck as you've seen in the videos and but I have only one small garage uh, and no drivers so um, I would like to show you what my thoughts are uh, about making it, big, making it bigger. In the last video, for those of you who follows my videos, you saw that I repaid my loans, uh, the last thing I did, which means that I have $33,197 on the account. I need money and I need a truck and I need a driver and I also need to uh, make my garage uh, bigger. So what I will do is to go to the garage manager and see what it will cost to upgrade. It will cost me $180,000. And if you are, you don't need to be a genius in math to uh, figure out that I need almost 150,000 and to add to that I need at least 180,000 uh, perhaps to a new truck so I need a lot of cash so we will go to the bank again and we will borrow uh, I my daily income I can tell you that is uh, is almost $13,584. So if I should take a loan on $400,000, I would have to pay repay 5,788 a day, which would be bearable because I would also have a driver more, uh, more in the company to bring in money. So that wouldn't be any problem. So therefore, let's take a loan. And now we have 433,197. Okay. Let's go to the garage manager. Take a look at the garage in San Diego. This tiny uh, garage and upgrade for $180,000. And here we are. My new garage for three trucks and an office space and everything. Perhaps, perhaps not the fanciest, but it will work. It will uh, hopefully do its job. Okay, so we are back in the menu and we have $253,000 and uh, uh, take uh, give or take uh, left. And now it's time to take a look at the truck. And since I drive a bit Peterbilt today, I, I can take a Peterbilt again. And we we go to the Peterbilt dealer. I can take this one here in San Diego and say hello to him. And here you here you have the pro, Project 3X. Uh, that is the truck that I drive today. So why don't we choose that? Because it's uh, cheap as well. We can go with the customization configuration button here and I will try to keep the costs down 
and uh, yeah. Let's take, we can take this one. No, oh, that is, hmm. we can take this one, yeah. We will have a decent engine for at least 550 horse po uh, powers, but it costs 38 and uh, 600 will cost 39, so 610 it is. And a good transmission with a retarder perhaps. We have this 13 speed, we have this one. We can take that one. Take a look at the interior. This is a standard interior. We will take a look at that later. I will have the same color as I have on my own truck, of course. And uh, yeah, that's that. Let's take a look at the accessories here. I will not uh, put so many. Um, I will not put so many uh, uh, lights on it as I have. I will make it very, very uh, simple. This one. That's nice. I think. Yeah. And. With that is good. No, that is not good. These are good. Rear window trim, of course. They look okay. That is good. And why not have this is always the hardest thing to, yeah, let's take that. That looks good, I think. And uh, left combo. And right combo, perhaps. Something like that. Yep. It's okay. And now the rims must of course be chromed. So that's what we will have here. And we will of course have the same as I have. I will try to do this so fast, as fast as possible. Something like this. And my goal with this is to get one more truck to the company that will bring more money. Uh, oops, that was not that good. Uh, we need to have small tires so that we yeah that looks better okay we can have it like this
that is better. A decent track with, of course, a GPS, but not there. We will have the GPS up there, just as I have. And we will have aluminium, of course. That is good. So, this looks okay. And the price for this is $120,000. I have 253 so confirm and purchase. If I trade in, I will trade in the truck that I have now, but I will not do that, so I will pur purchase and I will not drive it. So I will put it in my garage in San Diego on this spot here. Thank you for buying and leave. Great. So back to the menu. Let's take a look at the truck manager. And now I have two. This is my, and this is the new one. What I will do now is to go to the recruitment agency and see if they have any drivers. They have only one because I have not discovered that many uh, agencies. I will have to look for them. In Euro Truck Simulator, I, all, I almost all only employ uh, female drivers. That is a thing I have. But I will <laughs> do, an, uh, do it uh, otherwise. Um, do it differently here because the only thing I have to choose from is one man and he has a very low experience but I need to have a driver so let's hire him put him in San Diego and to the other truck and there you have it oh shit there you got a female driver that will be the next one if I don't do it like this. I can d dismiss him, perhaps. Recruitment agency. Hire a driver. That is better. Perfect. So, why change a winning concept? So now, if we take a look at the truck manager, I have two trucks. I have two drivers. So, I hope that I will... Uh, earn a lot of cash with this setup and um, hopefully earn that much cash so I can evolve or develop my company even more. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this video gave you something, a little insight in my company perhaps. And um, yeah, please subscribe if you want to keep updated with what's happening in the company. If you want to keep updated for upcoming videos, leave a comment if you have any and perhaps hit the like button. Or why don't you hit the like button? Uh, that's all for now, my friends. Take care out there and um, see you again. Bye bye.